This is the gorgeous 3D version of the board game, Catan. It retails around about 299 UK pounds and around the same in US dollars. You can get the basic flat board game, which is a wonderful game in itself, but the 3D limited edition version just brings another dimension to the game. So what is Catan? Well, Catan's been around for almost 27 years and in the game, players try to be the dominant force on the island by building settlements, cities and roads. On each turn, the dice are rolled and that determines which resources will be introduced to the game and using those resources, people can build things and accrue points and the first person to 10 points wins the game. Sounds a little bit complicated, but the pages of instructions are very small and you can get used to the game very, very quickly. The main thing is, it's a very social game, it's very enjoyable. I love the 3D version. I love the fact that you've got these beautiful handcrafted pieces. Now these were created by the game's designer, the original designer, Klaus Tober. So these are created in the, in the vision he had for the game when he, when he produced it. And you can see the level of detail on these small pieces is astonishing. If you was to try and build these and hand paint these yourself, it would take you many, many hours. It does come with 19 hexagons in the middle, plus you get the outside part, which is like the sea. You get all the small pieces as well, the roads, the settlements, the cities. You get the, you know, the harbors. You get two wonderful dice, which we'll come to later. You get the rubbers. And if you understand the game, you know what they're about. I love the guy's face on the left there. So you get the rubbers as well. Now, everything is so lush and colorful. It just pops out the board when you're playing the game and it really does create a lot of attention and a lot of interest in the game. So in a moment, we're gonna show you all the different pieces on a rotating platform. So you get to see them from every angle, but wonderful, wonderful piece of art this game is. And although very limited, I certainly would recommend it. Now we're going to show you in a moment some of the other things you get with the bundle because in this 3D version you also get the card trays. So they're just handy too, you don't need them but they make the game easier. You obviously get these building cost cards for each player, they're a little bit different from the standard one, they're a little bit more shapely, a little bit more interesting. I love the dice as well. The dice actually have the Catan kind of hexagon on each of the dots which I think is a really nice touch just to add a little bit of class to the game. So I'm going to show you some of the pieces as well now. This first one I'm going to show you is the fields. Now the fields are where you get the, the grain from. Love the way you've got all the different colors and the sheen on the, on the tile there. And again, I've got you a couple of things to show you, the settlements and the cities, just to give you an idea of what they look like close up. Next, we're looking at the mountain again many only different colors around the edges of it you've got the trees built into the side and you get ore from the mountain so i've got the ore harbor there for you to see love the way these are so high and they really kind of bring the game up into the air here we have the pasture where you get the the wool or people may call it a sheep again there's the harbor for the sheep a road there for you to see just showing you the, the close-up of the detail. I love the fact that on these um, on these pastures here, you've still got the sheep on there as well, which I think is a, a really nice touch when you're getting the wool. Next, we will have the hills. And as it spins around, you'll see the detail, the lovely colors. And at the back there, you'll see the brick because you get bricks from the hills. So I've put the brick harbor there for you to see. Again, wonderful detail. Next, I'm going to show you the forest, which is where you get the lumber from. And I've put the rubber there as well. The rubbers, there's three of them for some reason. There's usually one in the main game. You get three in the 3D version. The harbour there, the harbour was the lumber harbour with the, the wooden logs on for you to see. And again, I've put a 
city, a settlement, and a road there as well for you. The dice are there as well, show you this beautiful dice with all the lovely um, hexagonal dots. So I think the last one to show you will be the desert. So you'll get to see the robbers making a final appearance on the desert there. So here we have a close up of the desert. Again, lovely moulding, lovely shaping by Klaus there, the way he's kind of crafted the desert. The robbers, even the back of them, you can see the cloak at the back. You can see the cloak at the back. I love the fact that the robbers are holding a sheet because they do steal resources from players in the game. So it's, going, it's only apt that one of them there happens to have a sheep in his hand. Great touch. Now, as you're playing the game, you'll use these counters. Now these counters go on the landscape and it determines which dice are shaken. It determines which resources are given to people when we shake the dice. So there's a 10, a 12, a 6, etc. I'm going to show you the board finally, how it's set up for play because these counters go on the board and it's surprising that they managed to fit on, but they fit on nicely. There's a small indentation in the hexagons to fit these in. So you'll see these in a moment. And this is now the game set up, ready to play. All the number pieces are on there. I've set it up in a beginner mode, so it's quite easy to pick up and play from this level. But again, just look at the, the attractiveness of this game and how it just pops out of the table. If you haven't played it, look it up. It's a great way to socialise with your friends and it's just an enjoyable experience just to do something other than watching television. Hope this was of interest to you. Thanks for watching. Please give us a subscribe. If you share it, that will be appreciated as well.